And uh, next up, we've got a, a colleague of mine from, from Leeds who um, I'm, I'm sure I taught her at some point. I'm sure I was going to ask, but we'll find out later. Um, using OneNote class notebook to create a classroom based experience by Katie Dobson from uh, the University of Leeds. So, Katie, are you ready to go? Good. I am. Hi, everyone. And yes, you did teach me uh, a very, very long time ago, so uh, we won't go into how old we all, we all are, but yes, uh, you did. So what I wanted to talk about is um, how I've gone about my teaching this year. So I teach um, primarily foundation students, so they're students coming in with a uh, very little maths background, and I'm, I'm a very traditional teacher of, it's a kind of very interactive classroom experience. And the thing I love is to have a wealth of whiteboard and Kind of interact with the students whatever questions they pose that I can kind of make the sessions really flexible around uh, my students so what I wanted was something that I could be able to teach with that would allow me that flexibility and a giant whiteboard um, so the method I went down was um, using uh, one note using a, a class notebook so um, with that, I've, I've opened up my uh, OneNote. So I have this kind of demo area of, and I wanted to show you around it all. Um, so this is, is kind of what it looks like. And what I could do is I could embed whatever document I was ever going to share with the students. So whether it be PowerPoint, um, you know, any kind of worksheet, you can embed that into um, OneNote. Um, so I've embedded my, my presentation as a PDF so that it's there for the students to, to see. Um, so as I scroll through this, through my PDF just as I would normally. Um, the interactive elements of a PDF, so if you have any graphics, that is one area where you kind of lose a bit. But a static uh, PowerPoint can be shared with students. And then what I would do is, um, as you can see, here's a bit I made earlier. Um, I would share this um, using Blackboard Collaborate and I'm using um, just a, a graphics tablet. So I bought one off um, Amazon. So this one's a, an XP pen and I can write on this PowerPoint and have a very interactive session of whatever I was saying, I can add notes, but also if the students wanted to add notes, if I put this in a collaboration space with the students, they could add to it also. Um, so they could end up collaborating. So I can either have things um, shareable or private. The wonderful thing I like about this is it's basically an infinite book. Um, it, the size um, is just kind of limited by the kind of storage. So it, I, um, this is saved on my OneDrive. So it's kind of just limited by how much storage space I have um, and the students then just get a link to it. So the benefits I found is I can have content that I can just make viewable to the students. So um, down this kind of left-hand side as I'm looking at it, um, I'm in the, what we call the collaboration space. So if, if, this, if you were part of my class notebook, you could edit this document live now. Um, so all my students could. I can have a content library where I can keep all my content. And if I just wanted something that is uh, viewable, that only I can control so that the students can't accidentally delete everything, I could put it in a content library. Um, and again, that just ends up becoming another booklet within your bigger booklet. What I also really like though, is there's staff areas. So there's a bit just for me, so I can put my solutions and things in there that I don't want anyone to see but me. Um, and it's there and prepped for later or each student. So I've, I've created uh, for some friends, I've, uh, they, they kindly uh, were volunteers to be fake students. So this is a private area that only they could see. So you can see the two names there of, of Linda and Lindsay. Um, they could keep their own notes. So hopefully what you can now see uh, in front of you is they could take a picture of, of anything just on paper and upload it like any other kind of image. Um, so they can do that and then type out questions and ask me, have I done it right? Um, they don't have to have the technology themselves to be able to do it as long as they have a camera that they could take a picture of their handwriting with they could do that if they wanted likewise if i could uh, go into lindsay uh, if they did have something like a tablet themselves they can make mind maps they could do whatever they want so this is an example of, of just a collaborative mind map we actually did as a class um, around logs um, we were just kind of messing around so you can do quite a lot of different things with it depending on, on what you had. Because I was the one with the tech, oftentimes the students would lead me in what they wanted to do um, and I would draw it and, and write it out. Because of that, um, you can actually get quite reasonably cheap tablets. A lot of students have asked kind of which I was using um, and so they've kind of purchased similar um, 
you know, about kind of like 50 pound or so um, from Amazon. It doesn't have to be the kind of like hundreds. Um, so, so there are kind of things you can do from there. And then if I come back to my presentation, one of the things um, I really like is you can then resave this as a PDF to print off. So the students still have their collection of notes. Um, and it's also got some nice um, embedded basic, but some maths functions in there. Um, so the maths functions that are there, I'm in the draw uh, part of it right now, so I can draw um, anything I want. Oops. Um, if it behaves. Um, so I can draw on anything anywhere. Um, I can put in basic shapes and obviously it's already got axes um, and things for me as standard because I can't draw a straight line for love and money. Um, so it can do some of these things for me. It can turn my handwriting into text. So again, if a student was doing this, um, it can turn all my handwriting into text so that it makes it slightly more accessible. Um, and likewise with the maths, um, it will also do that. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it for um, if if your pictures are down the side, um, but it will let you um, type in some maths and it turns the ink that I would write into maths and it comes up with su some suggestions and it will solve basic things um, as well. So especially around mental arithmetic, uh, which I'm shocking at too, um, the students could all kind of join in with that. So I just really liked OneNote because it allowed me that collaboration. It allowed a space where the students could write things privately and only me and them could see it. Um, but likewise, it's a way that it all gets saved. They could also keep their notes there because oftentimes what I would find is students ended up with reams and reams of paper, um, whereas they can take pictures of it, save it. Um, it's just a way to, to keep everything together. So that's me. Thanks very much.